She's a special. She really is, man. She's like gonna win. Let me help. Like, you're gonna win. Like, for real. Like, honestly, do you know what's running through my mind right now? Straight up. I'm like, I am so happy I have that on film because one day you're gonna be the biggest star in the world and I'm just gonna keep putting out the clip where you're like, wow, he's the best. Like, <laughs> hi, hi. Nice to meet you. I'm so excited right now. Yes. Oh, Thank man. you, Johnny. Okay, this is Johnny, nice Johnny, how are you? Can you meet manager? How, you how are you? Tatiana, Hi. Hi, Tatiana. We're all fans, I'm sorry. And then Nick Mark is actually. Nick, how are you? Yeah. No worries, I'm super flattered. Get Thank in you. here. I'm so excited for no, this meeting. Me too. Can I sit right here? Yeah, sit, 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 anywhere. There's plenty of seats for everybody. Um, I'm glad you came up. Were you coming up anyway today or? Um, yeah, I have like a press run tomorrow. All the blogs that have been posted, Mumbo Jumbo, just like they want to meet, so. Yeah. You are going to be a ridiculously big star. It's super weird. Like, you know what's cra- you know what's crazy for me? This is now happening to me mainly in hip hop. Like, mm-hmm. like that Uber email you see over there, mm-hmm. right? The, yeah. These stocks, Twitter, Tumblr, mm-hmm. like what I wrote about in my first book about like social media. Mm-hmm. It's so crazy. I didn't know that I. I feel like now I have one core talent, which is like I can see it. And like it used to be about like trends or like companies, and now I've been really focused for about a year hard on like hip hop. (laughs) And like, it's really interesting. Obviously Mike really helps me, but not everything, like I think, like there's a lot of things that I see that I'll be wrong, Mm -hmm. or like I won't fuck with something that becomes enormous, but some stuff is just black and white obvious to me. Yeah. Man, I really think you're, I'm really excited for you. That makes me and what's interesting is I haven't, I've lived like nobody being on Twitter, like I was on YouTube when nobody was, like there was not one video that had a million views on YouTube when I started. Mm-hmm. Like, and so I've watched people like never saying the word social media or YouTube or Twitter. So that's been cool, right? Mm-hmm. And I did it with wine which is way less cool, like with like New Zealand wine and South African wine. But I've never done it with people. Mm-hmm. And now I'm doing it with people. So now I'm like, man, what would it, would it be like if I was doing this six years ago and like the weekend was just sitting here. Right? right? Yeah. I'm like, that's gonna be a weird feeling. Yeah. Right? Anyway, nonetheless, I, I'm so intrigued by Thank your you talent. So much. Thank you, I can't, I can't. I was so pumped when you hit me back and we're like, we're fan. I was like, what? yes. <laughs> so, yeah, we were pretty excited. <laughs> that's crazy. We were so surprised when you, when you tweeted us, like, oh my God, I can't believe this. Like, we just, we were just looking at each other, like, in shock. Like, what the fuck? Oh my God. <laughs> it's so crazy, right? Like, I know what's happening. Like, I don't get ahead of myself, but I'm like, wow. If you would have ever told me, I mean, you have to understand, I'm 42. Like, if you would have told me 13, 15 months ago, 18 months ago, that my cosign would mean anything in any shape or form, <laughs> it's just so funny for me. It's like, a, it's an out of body experience, really. So what's going on? What's going on? Um, really, I'm just uh, working on this new project. Um, I've been working on it for a while. Um, just like me in general, like I'm just kind of like, I'm just like I'm scatterbrained. Like I have like I think of ideas like every second of the day. That's and like good. Me these too. two, like they help me really to just kind of sure. like just balance it and you know just like give me like some type of direction and of course just organizing like the things in my head. So like it was our idea to just like put together like. Well, to try to put the way I feel into music, of course, because that's what I do. Tell me more about yourself. Where were you Myself? born? Myself? Mm-hmm. Um, I was born in Philadelphia. Um, what part? Uh, north, North Philly. Yeah, so it was kind of like, it, they're trying to make it good now. They had, like, Temple is taking over everything. I so, know, like, I know. Things that I saw when I was younger, it's not there anymore. It's just, like a nice-ass building now, so. But, um, yeah, so. Um, it was single. not as nice of a building when you were growing up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, so, yeah. So they're changing it or whatever, but, um. Single parent, my mom was just, she took care of me. Um, you have siblings? Yes, I have a younger brother and a younger sister. We're all five years apart. So I'm kind of like setting like the tone. Like I, I'm doing good and they have to follow right along. You know what That's I mean? Great. I'm setting standards, so yeah. Um, and when did you know you were musicked out? Um, well really like, I kind of always just loved like, at first I wanted to be a dancer. Then I was like, um, I was singing a little bit. Then my aunt got me in church. So I was like, okay, I like, I really like this. But then we got, I got in school I forgot what grade it was, but we got, we got introduced to poetry. And um, it was like we had to get up in front of the class. This was like the first time we had to get up and present. And we, all of my friends, we were so, I was nervous. You know, of course. Like, oh my God, we gotta like, 
and it was just um, I think it was called freestyle poem or like spoken word or something like that was like the specific thing that we had to do and she was like you know you just get up here and just express yourself it has to be a page long or whatever and everybody did it I was the last to go up because my, my last name was always on the roster because it's, it's wet so the w, yeah. I got V. Yeah, V. I know yeah. how it is. So you understand what I mean. I know how it is. Yeah, you understand what I mean. This is literally so. my exact story. In sixth grade, I had to yeah. give a speech in class, yeah. and I went last, so I don't fucking be nervous yes. the whole time. Yeah. And I wasn't the public speaker I am today because yeah. I had to like talk about shit I didn't care about. Right. Yeah. It wasn't as cool as what you did. Yeah. I had to like you know like nonetheless. So I know. Yeah. Keep yeah, going. So um. So like I, I went last or so whatever, and like the poems were so like I. I didn't really like poetry at first. I liked the fact, like, my mom had me, like, I had the cat in the hat, Dr. Seuss. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one fish, two fish, red yeah. but you know. But, like, I just, like, it's, certain poems, that just don't make any sense to me. But I just <laughs> love the fact of just, like, that you can rhyme any word that you, well, you, of course it has to rhyme, but you just put words together. I just love that. I was so fascinated Right from that. the beginning. Yeah, from the beginning. And, um, so. So you that, did your thing. Yeah. And so it went I, over really well. Yes, like right out the, the gate. Like, like the kids in class are just like, yo, you gotta like turn it into rap, do rap, do rap, do rap. And I'm just like, what? I just, you know, like, but I like the attention because for a while, like, <laughs> it, yeah, for a while, I, I just like went through a thing where like I was getting teased and everything. Like, just I never got it was any the first time attention. you got love. Yeah, so I was like, oh, this is what they like. And then I was like, oh, right. <laughs> yeah. So I got two composition composition books, and by like month two, like I just had like every day I was coming to school, lunch, and they were like, yo, we were. I had like I was controlling like everything like everybody get ready get their lunch sit at the table and I'm just spitting these raps just like poems but they were turning into raps and it just went crazy and then you know like how long ago was that that was like I was like were you in high school yeah no 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 middle school middle school yeah middle school so okay was, nonetheless now I got the picture yeah so, so um, and then what happened so then after that I just kind of like the the composition books really just helped me to like because I had to make my mom go out and get the books. She's like, what do you want these books for? You already have school books. And I'm like, no, I want to write poems. And then, you know, like, she starts seeing how thick they were getting and how I kept going back to the dollar store to get new books. And she's like, oh, okay, you're on to something. So then I had an uncle, um, you know, he, I guess she told him or something, like, yeah, she's been doing poetry or whatever, because, you know, you meet your family. And they're of like, well, what are you doing? And she's like, oh, she's in, she, she writes. And um, so then he was like, yeah, you should try it over a beat. And you got to talk about stuff that, you know, like the streets, you know. So I went up and I looked at like the most gangsters, rappers, and I started talking about stuff like fucking killing your scout back <laughs> and shooting and stabbing your mom. And, yeah. and, like, you know, but I found a way to kind of, I still say some of that stuff, but I yeah. found a way, because that's literally what my mind thinks, you know. But mm -hmm. like, you know, I was just, I went through that phase of just, just trying to figure out like, I want to be cool to like the hood, because that's where I, I was of in the course. hood. You know, like that's what I wanted to talk about, but Really, I wanted to talk Everybody about dinosaurs. Everybody wants the streets to fuck with them. Yeah, right. Yeah, but then it's like, so I went through that whole thing of just trying to like, you know. Conform. Yes, yes. And it, it was so difficult, but um, and you know, that, I just had to accept it. I was like, the, like, people literally called me weird and I hated it. Yeah, but you know, you got so lucky because if you were coming up in a different era, that would have been the only option. This yeah. is the best time to be in yeah. hip hop ever. Yeah, Because it's a mature state, like, you know, it's funny, I, I've seen the exchange between you and Yachty and I always use him as an example of this exact point, which is that if Yachty came out like that in 19, <laughs> when I was growing up, he would've got his ass kicked. <laughs> I always say that it's yeah. crazy to me that like, that like Ice Cube and Urkel had sex and made the the new age rapper, right? Like, like that, if you would've told me that's what would've happened 20 years ago, I would've never believed it. But it's so amazing that you can be your authentic self. Yeah. A it's female like, wow. oh with your angle on things and it's like hot. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so, it's why I wish people understood hip hop better. Like it's, it's gone from really not accepting, mm -hmm. like in, in a lot of ways in my opinion, to unbelievably accepting in its current form. And what that you said recently, um, so like the next part of her story is, I don't know how long you were in Atlanta, but like mm -hmm. at some point she was like, I'm not just rapping to rap, now I wanna be an artist. Yeah, so that happened, um, that was like, so middle school happened, it was just poetry, poetry, and then I went to high school, and then um, I started, this, this random thing, like just going into high school, like my first year, ninth grade, um, me and my mom was just driving, um, we were going to visit my grandma, my grandma's not here tomorrow, rest in peace. Um, we were driving down, like, North Philly, same thing, and um, she was like, look, and then I look up, because I'm kind of like, my chair is always back. I didn't want to, like, be out. I had homework projects. I was stressed out. It was just, like, it was ninth grade year. I'm just like, what the that fuck? That first year of high school. Sucks. Yeah, so, so, um, 
what happened? Oh, so we, I look to my right and I see a big group of guys just on the corner just rapping. And I see like a nice camera. Like that That was like Yeah, like a beautiful. big one, like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it was. Oh, okay, got it. Go ahead. It canon, and? you know, yeah. So um, I'm like, okay, this kind of looks like official, so, you know, but I'm still kind of like in my mood. Like, I don't, you know, because my and? chair was literally back like this. And, and then um, she was like, you should get out of rap. I'm like, what? I can't just do that. Like, what do you mean? <clears throat> and she's like, no, get out of rap. So I'm like, so she can, she knows me. She, she, she can tell that I'm thinking. And I'm just like, and she's like, all right, I'm, I'm going to circle the block. So she circles the block and I'm thinking of all the raps that I have in my head. And then I get out and I was like, hey, y'all, can I rap for y'all? <laughs> and then it's like, yeah. And then it's just like, all right. And like, what's your name? Well, they call me T. Dizzle. Because they just called me T. Dizzle and I was like, just neighborhood stuff, like whatever. So that's just the first name I, that, that I thought of. So um, I'm like, all right, go ahead, shorty. So I'm like. Hey yo! And then I just was rapping, and then like they were looking like I'm not really feeling this. And then this one guy, he's not here. Rest in peace. He just put his arm around me. He was like, "No, like she's hot. Like y'all gotta listen." So I guess he ran that whole block. So so once they like, cause they were kind of like backing away a little bit. Like she kind of weird. She's talking about dookie and booties and just just weird whatever. Like and he just, saw it. Yeah, he saw it, and and he once he put he literally you can see the video. You can still find the video on YouTube. He put oh, his yeah? arm around me. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah, cool. He put his arm around me. Yeah, I want to see that bad now. Yeah. Actually, pull it, go get it. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's so weird. Yeah. So, oh, you want on hot ones? Did you go? Somewhere? I did. Oh, And wow. dominated, by the way. Wow, I love spicy food. Go watch it. I completely annihilated that show. Okay, yeah, I can't, we got to go, we gotta watch it. Um, okay, so uh, so he's like, yeah, I'm rocking with her, I'm rocking with her. And then that's when um, I found out, like, because uh, I got the con- the information from the dude who was holding the camera and he had been like a popular like blog and you know he had a like, good web page like everybody it's called we run the streets that's what it's called and um so like the rappers like meek mill coming up reed dollars like all the battle rappers were coming up um uh you know on his platform yep. or whatever so i was like oh my god i can't believe like i was it was just so good and then so he's like yeah shorty i'm gonna put it up tonight and see the feedback and then it was like one night six six thousand views then like a week it was like 12,000, it just kept jumping, like, so good. And he's like, yo, you didn't have any buzz, and, like, this is going crazy. And, of course, it was, like, 15-year-old jumps out and blesses the camera with her mom in the car or something like that. Like, that mm-hmm. was the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And um, so after that, Meek tweeted me, like, Cosmic, like, all the big people, all the big heads from Philly just, like, were tweeting me, and I'm just like, yo, this is not happening. Like, I just couldn't believe it. Of course, and, like, and then everybody in school was like, that must they have been went crazy. crazy. <laughs> yeah. But see, the thing was, like, you know, that was just so random, you know, me just not even wanting to be outside and, you know, be in that car, like, and then it just was just, like, and in school I was a problem. My principal, she kind of, she hated me. I know she did. Cause she, I just, I controlled everything. Like, whatever I said, like, it just went, like, you know, like, just whatever, but, um, so, you had too much juice. Yeah, I did. No, literally, I did. No, I get it. And, and um, so then, like, you know, I just was going on the, the radio shows, freestyling, freestyling, but I just got tired of that. Like, I, I was I was going into the studio sessions and just rapping over beats that, you know, weren't original, just like killing. But, I mean, of course, I'm just trying to get a buzz, so I'm doing what I, of course. What I got to. You're honing your craft. You're getting exposure. You're yeah, going through the process. Exactly. So, but it just, like, it, I told you I have a short ass attention span, so it just got boring really fast. You know what I mean? So I um I just was like I wasn't feeling it like people were calling like they were signing and all this stuff or whatever Meek was trying to figure something out and I'm just like eh, I'm not really feeling it I had been in sessions and everything I'm just like I don't know I don't want to just freestyle like my whole life you know what I mean because every time I would try to even just dip on you know into like something original like everyone's like no just just kill some beats just kill some some old school beats and I'm like that's cool but I don't like I just started to get stressed out and. You know, I was the only person that really understood me was like my mom. Like I was telling my friends, like, what do you mean you have the hottest people calling you and just do what they want you to do? Once somebody said that to me, I was just like, ah, nah, I can't do this. So, me going through that, and then this was like um, 11th grade year. Yeah, this was like all happening. It's like 10th, 9th, 10th, 11th. It's like everything was like happening for me. And um, so my mom was like, you know, I'm thinking about moving. We want, I want something new, whatever. And then I was like, I need something new. And then that's when we moved to Georgia. Um, yeah. You moved to jo- you went you moved to Georgia for your senior year. Yeah, my senior year. Yeah, I finished my last year at Westlake High School. Um, and um, so I stayed there with her for about two and a half years, like almost three years. And um, I just kind of deleted social media. This is when I was going by a different name, T Dizzle, Dizzle Diz, whatever. And um, de- deleted social media. I just was just trying to find myself. You know what I mean? Like I was just trying to figure it out. And um, what happened? Uh, ooh. Well, when I went, it's funny because when I went down to Georgia. 
people already knew who I was in school. Like, so I, that's how I knew that it was like serious. Cause of course <laughs> I'm in Philly and like, everybody knows who I am. But when I went to Georgia and seen like, oh, that's the girl. Like they, every, every time I'm walking in the hallway, that's the girl, that's the girl. And it's just like, oh my God, I, just, I thought I was going to get away from it, but I'm still in it. And um, so, but eventually I got my first job. My, it was a car, I worked at a car wash, Mr. Hotshine. And um, I was I was making so much money. So like tips were fucking crazy. I didn't even care about my check. Like, just like my tips were so crazy. And I was the only girl. Like everybody else was like, yeah, just got out of jail. I was working with all guys, killer, like fucking, everybody was crazy there. But I was the only girl and I was just getting tips so good. I love that job. But my goal was to, um, uh, I wanted to save up for my first, my laptop and a mic. That's what I wanted to do. So, um, so yeah, I worked that job, got my laptop, got my mic. I just started recording myself. And I was finding little beats and everything because I still I could use my buzz a little bit to like you know reach out to certain people like you know little producers mm -hmm. and stuff. And um, yeah, we just started like we started doing some original stuff and like I just kept it to myself on that laptop. And then when I felt like I was starting to get it because I was like I gotta change my name. I want to use my real name, Sierra Wack. Like I was just think, I was making a master plan. You know what I mean? Just trying to just reinvent myself. So uh, like being patient. Yes, but that, it was so it's just it was so much like pressure because everybody in my corner was telling me you like they didn't want me to do what I did they, they, want, they didn't want me to take that that's break. when you know it's right yeah you know and so I get it yeah and so um so like a year and a half almost two years because that, that's yeah yeah it went by whatever and I was still just recording on the laptop and I started to just feel confident but I didn't show anybody any of my music so that's kind of crazy to just you know, not like I had to just keep this like to myself. You already tasted the other version. Yeah, exactly. You didn't have yeah. the impatience that everybody else had. Yeah. You were already in a place where everybody heard everything you were doing. Yeah. So exactly. you, it was easier for you in a lot of ways to keep it to yourself because you knew what the alternative was. Yeah. You've exactly. been, you've gotten the the digital exposure. You got radio station exposure. Yeah. yeah. So okay. So keep going. Yeah. So that's when I called this guy Kenny. So. When I was uh, T Dizzle, <laughs> um, I used to hop around studio sessions all over Philly, just yep. trying to just find that right yep. engineer. You yep. know, you just you know yep, yep, until yep. it feels right. This guy is really he's like really hard to like get connects with. Like he's he's like a caveman. Like you have to really be like good or like just something special about you. So that's why I know that I'm special. Like he reminds me. Um, you, like I called, I got in touch with him. Because I remember I had, I had so many sessions. I had this one session and it was of course with him and I got one really good original song done. Out of all the fucking sessions that I did, it was so fucking many. I always did freestyles, freestyles, freestyles. I went in the studio with him and he was like, yo, um, you can do original if you want. I was like, what? Like that was like the first engineer that said anything like that in Philly for me. And I'm just like, so you don't mind if I like, you know, you, I can work on original stuff. He's like, yeah, you can do whatever you want to do. So I always remember that and I said, Keep in mind, I was still in Georgia thinking this. I'm like, listening. Plan. Like, so I connected with him on Instagram, like, yo, I got some new stuff. I really need, you know, an ear or whatever. And I, like I said, I kept in mind. I'm sorry, I'm like backtracking. I'm, I'm trying to make sure I'm saying You're everything. not losing me at all. Yeah. Just so you know. <laughs> no, yeah. New so, York has become slow for me. So. <laughs> you're not, yeah. you're not yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, This so. shit feels in slow motion. <laughs> yeah. Just okay. so you know. All right, that's good. That's know good. where you're sitting. Yeah. This is slow motion. Go yeah. ahead. So I always kept him in mind, but I knew he was hard to get in contact with. So I had to make sure before I physically moved back to Philly that I had him on lock. Like I have to. I got you're the first person I want to see when I get to Philly. So he hit me right back and he's like, yo, where you been? Like what everybody's been asking, where mm -hmm. have you been? It's been two years since mm -hmm. I put anything out. I was mm -hmm. leading on everything. He's like, where have you been? Yeah, come through, man. You, can, you know, we can work something out. So I'm like, yes, this is all I need. Like as an artist, if you have an engineer in the studio, you, you can do anything. I understand. You know I mean? So I got back with him, played him the stuff and I was so You came up to Philly? Nervous. Yeah, I came back to Philly. I moved back to Philly with my grandma. Oh, you yeah. moved back? Yeah, I was back. I was back. So, um. Your grandma was passed? No, not that one. Got this it. is okay. Wilmawak. Wilmawak is still alive. She's Got fucking respect. crazy. Got it, respect. Yeah, amazing. she's fucking crazy. Okay, so you go into yeah. Wilmawak. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, so I... And I, you go play to him, you're nervous, you're hoping yeah. it goes well, yes. and the what happens? Person, and he loves it. He loves it. Like, And when like, is this? This? Is this about, is about three, three, four years ago? Yeah. It's about three, four years yeah. ago. And okay. she, um, <clears throat> why I, I like, she knew who she was at that point. Mm -hmm. Because cause I'm like, I, I started calling her Dizzle. And she had changed her name to Tierra Wack already, so she would check she's like, me immediately. She's like, I'm Wack. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, don't, don't call me that. And I'd slip up because I'm so used to calling her. Of course. She, yeah, she always be like, yo. But she sent it to me. She, I was like, she was like, what you think? I'm like, this is crazy. I'm like, this is like way different from what it is that you were doing before. Mm -hmm. And, um, I, I, you know, 
So he's blown away. <laughs> yeah, he's blown and what away. happens next? And then, I mean, I don't want to say it gets dry, but like, it's just like, we just started working. He was like, yo, you can record here whenever you want. Like, he literally like moved his sessions over and like, just let me. So you, so you created a project? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We, we, and what happened? When did you well, drop it? How no, did no, no, you drop no, 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 no. There is, there still is no project after all these years. Got he it. just like he's like yo, you can come in and he, he showed he even because I told started him, teaching you. Yeah, he started teaching me mm-hmm. how to record on these on the better pro, uh, pro tools it. and logic mm-hmm. and everything. He was like yo, I'll block out a time. You could just go ahead and he would literally leave me in the studio and just let me just Play. rock out. Yeah, because that's what I was doing on my laptop. So I, I guess totally he wanted understand. to ease me into it. Yep, which was the best plan ever. And then um, you know, like we just like I, I just touched in so many genres because he just gave me that like the playing freedom. feel. Yeah, the freedom. It was always like the do what you want. Yeah. It was like, that's what you do with talent. Yeah, yeah, it was like you don't control. box it in. Yeah, it, it wasn't like no, nah, you got to do this or you make this. It was like she, she said a lot of. You're work. like you know. Yeah, like yeah. Yeah. So um, and then like, I don't know. It's just like that's really like the the the, the, the yeah like. That's it. That, yeah, that's yeah, that's sort of the gist of it. And then what happened was like I know myself, so like I don't like I'm not good at being in the forefront. And I know that like sometimes you can mess up somebody else's situation by not acknowledging who it is that you are. Self awareness is the leverage, baby. Right. So I'm like, she like, yeah, you want to manage me? I'm like, nah. Yeah. Like I can, I can I help can. you produce. <laughs> yeah. And so that, but uh, so, that, so, so I had him who I've been working with for a while. Yeah. And he yeah, had worked with her already. before. Yeah. 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 And so I'm like, Johnny's good with business. I'm not like, I'm not good. With, you know, like I, I got of it. Of course, I'm tax savvy. Yeah, 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 I got it. Yeah. So it became, and it became all three of us. And yeah. And when was that? Same uh, around that same time? Yeah, around the same exact time. Yeah. And so yeah. what's been happening for the last three years then? Um <coughs> just everything. So many people call in and just uh we just like You've been being patient for the last three years. That's exactly what Yeah, doing. that's that's really what it is. Like just like knowing the right time to just like just like, you know, like drop here and there and just like When you have the talent, you have the leverage. <laughs> Your moment doesn't pass when you're good. <laughs> Like p- people are so confused. <laughs> when, did that, when did everyone start like, uh, like, like that BB Borelli who we really mess with? Yeah. And liking her pictures. You know what I mean? Like when did all this stuff? Know is, well. You don't know who that is? You're gonna like her. She wrote a bitch better have my money for real. Oh, B- oh, yeah, that's you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. the thing that it sounded yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah I didn't even. Crazy. And she likes your photo. Wow. Key, you know Key, Twenty One Savage. Twenty One Savage's manager. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She, she, loves she, you. she hit me up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Coach K likes everything she yeah. does. <laughs> <laughs> Coach K's got his agenda. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's like, so what, like... As he should, Coach K's doing his thing. Yeah. Everyone's watching you. Yeah. I think you're about, I think now is the time, right? Yeah. Like, do you feel that way? Yeah. Like, what do you feel about, when you drop the music video to right now? You know what's right crazy now, about like, now is the time? On? Like, like, for what? So now is the time. Cool. Like, this is my whole point. Like, this is what all I've ever heard for the last 10 years of my life is now is the time. I wrote this, now is the time. This is now, now is the time. I think the better question, to your point and the way you're looking at it, that's right. But I think the much more interesting question is, do you at this moment Mm -hmm. have a sense of what you want to happen? And if you don't, then it's just to continue to create. Mm -hmm. Right? So like for me, like TV was always the time. TV, I was like, everybody was like, this is the time, this is the time. And I didn't know what I wanted and then when Apple came along with a show where it had three big celebrities and then me, I knew that it wasn't gonna be a big show because I knew nobody had Apple TV like that. Mm -hmm. I just knew me positioned with those three incredible celebrities that were A-list for the group that would know about it because I knew I could make people know about it. It wasn't even like about, you know, like I just wanted like just being with Jessica, Will I Am, and Gwyneth Paltrow for Hollywood mm-hmm. put me on a different sphere. It didn't matter what happened next. Right. That was the right time. Mm-hmm. And so for me it was a huge win even though it didn't become Shark Tank or American Idol. It, it was a B to B. It was an industry. It was the people that, like I'm in a different mindset for a lot of people on a different level for different people. Not that I need that because I'd much rather have three million followers on Instagram than be on a TV show. I needed it for the leverage of other shit I may want to do. Right, okay, yeah. Got it? Mm -hmm. So you're in it already when people that matter are liking your content. Here you come along, you discover it, or we're looking at it from a different way. 
Yeah. You know, and you go and look, well then she's already won that narrative. Like when, when people go on my Instagram and see The Rock liked it, they're like, what? <laughs> yeah. You know, like, right? So for me, there's a different thing, which is the, the different and right question for me is, what do you want to happen? Um, okay. Next. Can I tell you like just like the like the process kind of or just like you can tell me anything you want. Uh, <laughs> I'm pregnant. No, but I, uh, you didn't hear what I said. Okay, I said I was pregnant, but I was playing. I heard. So, it. Oh, okay, and I thought you said you're pregnant. Like, that's some real weird shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so like, um, it's funny because you touched on this a while ago. Um, I'm just kind of in a space where like. I don't give a fuck. Like, I just don't, like, I just can't, like, I can't afford to care because sometimes, of course, when you care, you overthink and you think too much and it's just like, you fucking drive yourself crazy. You know what's crazy? You don't give a fuck and you don't care because you've hit full maximum caring. Oh, that that's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And it's just like, I'm just kind of just, Whatever comes to my table and like to my plate, I'm just kind of like. I think the one thing I, I'm listening to you very carefully, and I've been really listening to you carefully in a different way, and now listening here, I think the only thing you need to decide is the. So your your stuff is so right, it's scary, which is why all this is happening. Your stuff. The only conversations the three, four, five of you should be having is in the short term. Where do we put that stuff? So when I hear what you're up to, like in what you want to do next, mm-hmm. I'm like, that's exactly right. Because that's where you want to put your stuff. Okay, okay. Got it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. how I feel. Mm-hmm. Everything I do is gonna be right. Mm-hmm. I just have to decide where I want to put it. And sometimes I want to put it in a yeah. paper cup, <laughs> and sometimes I want to put it filling an entire room. Mm-hmm. You're gonna always be right creatively. Mm-hmm. You just need to think about the context of the distribution and what you want to happen. Right. I feel like also like Tierra, one of the reasons why she like doesn't give a fuck about anything anymore and like what you were just saying before is because like she doesn't notice all these outside things because like the public victory is about to come but she's just had so much like personal victory. Like she's had so many like wins like on the inside and everything. Mm-hmm. She's just like isn't ever thinking about anything else. So now she just needs to get it in place. My man, yeah. I don't know anything that anybody's doing. Yeah. <laughs> people ask me shit all the time. I know what's going on through other people's eyes. Yeah. I know what's going on in the streets because I can see it through scale, through his eyes, mm-hmm. and through the feedback I get. Yeah, right, right. Like I spend time with you guys because I can almost like weirdly like, it's so weird. <laughs> like I don't even like talking about how I learn. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like <laughs> on some like weird superhero movie shit, <laughs> like you guys come in here and I like take it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like it's so weird how I do it, mm-hmm. which just means I don't know what anybody's doing. I don't know about anything. Yeah. I know what it feels like to be in your own little cocoon. Mm-hmm. What I do think you need to do, what I do think the vulnerability to our system is, mm-hmm. is where you put it and why. Okay. Like you can't get over, so a couple things that are cliche for people that are <clears throat> artists like you. Mm-hmm. You need to be careful to become too romantic about your truth. Let me explain. What starts happening after a while is you manifest into realizing how pure it is and then the only thing you care about is the purity of the pure and you become a caricature of yourself. Your biggest vulnerability is you becoming a caricature of your truth because you're so right Mm -hmm. and what happens after after a while is you're almost subconsciously biased becoming too artistic. Wow, we talked about that. That was crazy, I'm sorry. Yeah, that. <laughs> no, we talked, that's crazy. So, so what you need to do is... I feel like you're reading my palms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, it's super obvious to me, right? Mm-hmm. That's, that's your only vulnerability. Wow. Otherwise you'll win. Which, which leads me to why micro things matter. Mm-hmm. This book matters to me because it's a micro thing. Like, I, here's how it works for me. This isn't about the money. This is about a lot of people learn from books. Mm-hmm. Like people can watch every video, listen to every podcast, but for some fucking reason, books, I guess it's all gathered in one place. I don't learn from reading, so I don't understand it. But other people really learn from reading, taking all the notes, mm-hmm. right? Like <laughs> the amount of people that are gonna take this book and circle and highlight and put post-its, mm-hmm. and that's how they learn, and for me, I'm obsessed with the legacy of changing the game for people 
And so I'll manifest this, but is this, it, does this represent me? Yeah. Is this my, no. This is a micro thing. And where it can get confusing, especially at this young of an age, mm-hmm. is everything starts feeling macro and you don't understand what macro and micro is. Oh, yeah. And all of a sudden you never put anything out. And you become Dr. Dre in all those years promising the album's <laughs> coming. You get too macroed out. That's what happened to him wow. in that moment. But he won and beats by Dre and he's an icon and there's like, because the truth always wins. If you're great, there's nothing you can do to stop it. So much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> but the key is you start getting into that. Yeah. <clears throat> like you should put out a project. And if it doesn't do well, it's not gonna matter. <laughs> like all the equity, you get into a place where everything that you've done that's been so right mm-hmm. for the last seven, eight years, mm-hmm. you think that output determines, like it, it, has, it has a lot of pressure behind it because you haven't done it. Mm-hmm. Like it, it gets overthought. Yeah. And it gets too precious and then the timing's never right, and then it just becomes like this thing. Yeah. And that's how special people lose. Why do special people that deserve to win bigger lose? Mm-hmm. Is because of everything I just described for the last six minutes. You've gotta be comfortable with micro and macro. It's not selling out, it's not putting it all on the line, it's getting into the habit of, I do a lot of micro things, like my sneaker. That was a micro thing. I did a collaboration with K-Swiss. I thought it was cool, it was da da da. It could have been a disaster. And I think when you come from the right place, mm-hmm. you can't fuck it up. You have to think about that. That means a you whole have, lot. I figured it would. That's why I wanted to listen way longer than normal because I, <laughs> because I felt there was a whole lot in you mm-hmm. and like I was right. You need to embrace the micro because you're so macroed out, right? That micro gets scary. Yeah. There's so many things that so many all-time greats did that were wrong that nobody, nobody remembers what the Beatles did wrong. That's true, very true. There's a lot of whack fucking songs out of Jay-Z's mouth. What people don't understand is the wins outweigh the losses and if you're meant and you've got it like that, it's like, with who? Um, how it works, right? Mm-hmm. When I say Lauren Hill, you're not thinking about the 900 things that are wrong. Right. You're thinking about the fucking greatest album that maybe yes, ever was made. Yes, right, right. <laughs> That's what you have to figure out. Got it? Yes, I appreciate you so much. And you know where it comes from, and you'll love this, it comes from humility. I think what makes you special is you have it. Mm-hmm. I don't think, I th- my, again, I don't know, I'm going on some good intuition. Mm-hmm. I think you need to harness it. Because when you harness your humility, it is your strength, but when you harness it, it makes you realize that the reason I'm right is because nobody gives a fuck enough about you. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm makes sense, me right? chills, yeah, it's crazy. Wow, I got my palms ripped today. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. <laughs> It's what, it's what it feels like when, it makes so much, I can just see it, it's as clear as day for me what's going on with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, doesn't, mean you doesn't mean you need to sign, but you should put out, you know, I always say put out more stuff. Everybody's got their reasons and versions, but it's always the right answer. Mm-hmm. You just got too much in you to like not put it out and you're just putting too much romance around the narrative and you've, gotten, you've been so good at being the architect behind it mm-hmm. that your pride sits within it. Mm-hmm. We, we need to hear this, like, we really need to hear this. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that was good. Like, you said everything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, this, this is crazy. Yeah. It makes sense to me. Wow.
Wow. I'm, I'm afraid of him. Like, I am. <laughs> this, You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, this is what I'm good at. Like, it's really, you know, like, and by the way, this is what you'll have because this is the experienced version of the talent I had. Mm-hmm. I was sitting right there. At 22, mm-hmm. I was working for my dad's liquor store, getting shit on by all my friends, parents, and the whole world. Like, you fucking suck so much that your job out of college is you work in your dad's liquor store. And I was like, keep talking. Mm-hmm. You understand? It was all here. I understood, right? I was patient. I did what I had to do. But what I didn't have was 20 fucking years of experience. You'll be talking just like this in 20 years. Experience matters. I now understand because I've tasted it because I had to go through my own to like feel it, to be able to give it. You know? This means so much. I really appreciate it. Especially because you can help so many people. Music is so powerful. Right? Like all those stories and thoughts, they need to see the world. You're being selfish. You're right. I know. He's so right. He's so right. right. Wow. So that's it. You know, take this. Listen, let's be friends. I really want to be friends. I do too. Okay, (laughs) good. Can we buy a book today? You can get a book. No, I'm going to buy a book. We can't buy a book. You can't buy it, but I'm going to give it to you. All right, give me a pen. I'm coming. No, if I take a few photos? That'd be amazing. No, the thing is, like, the team wants a book. Yeah, we we want to buy a book. We want to buy a book. You want multiple? Yeah, we want to buy it, though. Well, I can't have you buy it. That's just not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, go get me some. You're welcome. Let's take a quick photo. I gotta take a call. Yeah, okay. I'll give you guys books. You got it? For me, without the book, because I want it just me and you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. get in here. For this. All right, ready. Take a couple. I got it. Give me time. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank You're welcome. You. She's a special. She really is, man. She's like gonna win. Let me help. Like you're gonna win. Like for real. Like honestly, do you know what's running through my mind right now? Straight up. I'm like, I am so happy I have that on film because one day you're going to be the biggest star in the world and I'm just going to keep putting out the clip where you're like, wow, he's the best. (laughs) Like, just imagine, on a very serious kick, imagine you had film of like you acting that way but you were a 20-year-old Beyonce. Yeah. Like, that's what I think is going to happen. Yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome. That was incredible. Thank you. She was incredible. I really like that meeting.